Folks, Phil Zito here, and I just wanted to take a quick second and go through a resource that I found a surprising amount of people aren't aware of, and it's actually a really good resource. So if you go to Ashray and you go to ashray.org forward slash technical dash resources dash resources, you'll notice that they have a COVID resource page. And at the main page, you'll see that they have a bunch of resources they're regularly updating with statements from multiple different agencies, as well as messages from ASHRAE, press releases. I, I mean, it's this is a plethora of information for building owner and operators. It gives you a good idea of where your buildings are going to be heading towards uh, post COVID when the economy starts to open back up. For uh, contractors, it gives you an idea of where work is going to be heading, what folks are going to be expecting. I've been saying for a while now that I think we are going to see a retrofit boom because a lot of the sequences, the way they're looking right now, a lot of the sequences look like uh, constant airflow um, rather than turning off the airflow during unoccupancy, um, increased air changes, increased humidity ranges, uh, increased economizer use, utilization, removal of demand control ventilation. And with these sequences comes an obvious upsize in system capacity in order to handle the removal of that heat energy with the increased humidity. So I, I think we're going to see uh, a lot of retrofit needs, both from a sensor density, from a sensor capacity, from a system validation and system verification. And then there's the whole startup. So um, we're actually going to be doing a podcast on our framework for um, reopening a building and controlling a building. And this is a resource we are going to use as we create that framework. Uh, one thing that I find extremely valuable, yeah, this main is valuable, but even more valuable is this buildings. And then if you are someone who deals with a specific vertical, right now they have healthcare, um, commercial schools and transportation, kind of the main ones. Uh, most of us are dealing with commercial. So if you go to commercial and you click on this PDF right here, uh, this is a really good PDF. It's a pretty quick read, about 30 minute read, and I'd encourage all of you to read this. Uh, it really kind of lines out everything that you should be thinking about. Uh, the specific things I'd want you to focus in on as contractors or building operators is specifically how do you go and figure out what you have in your building from a sequencing perspective and a sensor density perspective? How do you understand um, what you can do with the existing systems you have? I mean, you're going to see a lot of it's about signage and cleaning and stuff like that. Well, that's important, and, and I'm not at all dismissing that. Um, for us in the building automation world, most of what we're going to be affecting is going to be in the environmental conditions, the control of those, the sensing of that data, as well as changes within the operation of systems. So if you don't know what ASHRAE 62.1 is, right now would be a good time to brush up on that. If you don't understand... Uh, proper maintenance of HVAC systems like described in 180-2018. That'd be a good time to brush up on that as well. So I encourage you to kind of go look at this, read about this. Like I said, we're going to be providing a summary of some of the aspects of this in this week's podcast, and we're going to be doing a webinar on this kind of exact topic as well. So I hope this helped you. I really encourage you to check this out and use this resource. Thanks a ton, and I hope you all are doing well. Take care.